I've been using NVIDIA GeForce Now for about one month now using both the free version and the priority version and I'm here to talk about my first impressions on them as a casual budget gamer. So first impressions right off the bat, the NVIDIA GeForce Now interface is easy to use for the most part, except for some bugginess on starting a few games, which I'll go into later. You can download the desktop app or go into a browser and play the game straight from there. You can also play the game on mobile and really any other device with a browser, like an iPad, for instance. I was able to play it on my 2020 MacBook Pro, which is definitely not a gaming computer, my iPad 11 2020, and also my standard Pixel 6a phone. And the games were able to work well on all of these platforms. On the free version, the graphics were okay. I'm definitely not a graphics snob, so I was able to enjoy the games I was playing. Countdowns were annoying in the free version. I definitely underestimated how many times I would want to play more than one hour. The countdowns show up at the last 15 minutes and at the last five minutes, which can be helpful when you are in the middle of a mission and you want to complete it before you're completely kicked out of a rig. But at the same time, it took you out of the experience. Load times were pretty horrible. In the free version, I played some new games on the free version and found myself having to wait a couple minutes, starting the game, waiting for a rig. And once you played it, for some reason, and I don't know if this is a bug or just a feature of the free version, a lot of the loading screen seemed to last really long. Open world. Okay, finally. On the priority version, the wait was still there, but it was much faster and was a non-issue for me. I was able to find a rig within a couple seconds. The load times weren't as bad. I wasn't worried about a one hour play limit that would kick me out. The graphics were noticeably better, but it could be more optimized for newer games, I think. When I was pushing some of the newer games to 1080p, I was expecting the game to run smoothly, but a lot of the newer games were lagging quite a bit for me. There were some bugs I ran into which I believe still need to be worked on. For instance, when trying to run The Witcher 3 for the first time, I had to follow about 10 steps going back and forth of how to actually get it to start in GeForce Now. For some reason, it opened up in the Steam library in the rig and then the rig that I was given didn't have enough space for all the DLCs so I had to install the game without DLCs and install it later. It was a lot of troubleshooting going back and forth and there was no solution online that really helped me so I decided to post my own but luckily it does seem that NVIDIA GeForce Now does have a pretty active forum where you can interact with tech support on GeForce Now. Overall, this is a great platform for casual or budget gamers. I love that you can play your game library with existing saves like I did from Steam, and they also have Epic and others that I forgot the name. You can play on a host of many devices without your laptop fan roaring in the background. You can connect most controllers, like I connected my PS4 controller through Bluetooth. And so I'm definitely going to be continuing to play this even more. Now, not all games on Steam work on GeForce Now. I could name a few such as Yakuza Like a Dragon didn't show up. GTA 5 didn't show up. And I would have loved to have those games on GeForce Now so that I don't have to waste up my computer disk space. And I know GeForce Now is continually improving, so I'm hoping the best for the future. And that's all I wanted to talk about, so cool. <laughs> I feel we could agree. Where do you go? Okay, fine. I'll do 65 potatoes. Agreed. That many I can spare. That's a lot of potatoes. All right. Fine. You seem sure something's out there. I'll see what I can do. Start by taking a look around. 